Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, greetings everyone and welcome to the first uh, recording of this uh, course. Okay, this course is Creative Multimedia Technology. Um, let me put it this way. This course will be divided into two, uh, sorry, it will be divided into four main, uh, let's say, categories or sections. First, we're going to talk about graphics and then video audio and then animation these are the four main categories of the course now each category of these four categories uh, we're going to take maybe two to three weeks to cover right uh, and, and each of these category we will cover one or two softwares that is related for example if you are talking about graphics and then we will do we will be talking about, for example, a Canva software, and then uh, Photo-P, for example, and so on. So each category of these uh, elements, we will talk about one or two softwares when we cover this topic. And today, we will start with an introduction for uh, creative multimedia technology, what are the main elements of multimedia, uh, the importance of multimedia in education, and so on. So let's go further and start our class. So in these uh, slides, we are going to cover, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the main elements of multimedia, introduction to multimedia, and multimedia elements the growth of multimedia how does it start and how does it you know uh, it change the education let's say um, interface how how does it help educators how does it help teachers students uh, in teaching and learning process we are go we are going to talk about that in details in the next you know slides now, when you hear the word multimedia, what do you understand of multimedia? Multimedia is actually kind of more than one media, using one, uh, more than one, maybe one or more than one media at a time. For example, if you are using a poster in your class, then you are using graphics. This is one media okay let's say you are using video then you are mixing or combining two media which is the still images and the video and then the audio which is the combination of two multimedias now if you are using animation same goes uh, to animation as videos because you are using two kind of media combining two media at one time okay so the uh, how we can define multimedia multi the word multi comes from more than one you know more than one multi like multitasks multimedia and so on so as i mentioned earlier multimedia has many different meanings it actually you can define multimedia by your own words okay by your own understanding so it depends on the people how to how they actually use this kind of media uh, to some people multimedia means their computer all right to some people multimedia meaning their uh, LCDs the equipment around them in the class okay CD DVD and so on uh, the video player all right some defines multimedia as using the combination of elements to create a dynamic and visual presentation that catches the viewers attention and maintains their interest throughout the presentation so it depends on you basically you as a teacher how would you refer to what media that you are using all right in the class is it like CD, a DVD player, uh, audio recorder, mic, okay, LCD, the combination of, of all these kind of equipments in one time. This is the uh, 
basic meanings of multimedia in the classroom. Now, as I mentioned, multi refer to many, more than one or multiple. Now, what is media? Media could be a tool, any tool that you could use inside your classroom to help you out achieve your objectives, okay? So it is actually tools that are used as a medium of communication, a channel of communication. Uh, you know, let's say you have a class and you want to conduct this class online, online, all right? So what media, what tool that you are going to use in this uh, case, let's say uh, Zoom software, WebEx software, this is the tool that you are using. But if you are conducting a face-to-face -face class, you are using the classic way, which is the presentation, the LCD, all right? This is your tool now. And uh, multimedia actually have, let's say, more than one perspective. Uh, it could help you out to manipulate information in many different forms. You could see, you could show the students uh, the real object on it. All right, let's say you are using augmented reality in the classroom. You could actually show them how to conduct a whole experiment without taking them to the lab. This is multimedia. All right. So it's actually more than, you know, about simulating the real, uh, let's say, object, the real event, instead of taking them to the lab and, you know, spending or wasting a lot of time in the lab. This could help you out to achieve your objective and refer uh, to whatever uh, object that you want to show the students, but using multimedia, using technology. All right. Now, if we could define multimedia, we have three different definitions here. The original, the second version, and then the latest, you know, definition. The original definition of multimedia means using two or more media for a presentation or communication such, such as videos and slides which is the very basic definition uh, using these kind of slides, the presentation, PowerPoint, uh, LCD, because we are considering the PowerPoint slide software as one tool, and then we are considering the LCD as another tool. So these are two main tools. Uh, why? Because we want to communicate, we want to uh, make this kind of media like you know a media uh, a communication channel between us as the teachers and our students and then the uh, second version of multimedia definition is refers to computer centered presentation that combines elements of photo video text graphics audio and animation so if you can see here the difference between the second and the first, first one is very wide definition, general definition, but the second one is more specific about what element that you are going to use. Is it photo? Is it graphic? Is it video? Is it animation? Is it audio? So, you know, uh, it goes more specific in details when we come to the second, you know, uh, definition. Now, the latest definition of multimedia, if you can see here, it's all about the interactive communications. We want to reach this level when we teach our students. We don't want to make our students just listening all the time or watching all the time. We want to make them more interactive in the class. So in this definition, we can see it's a computer-based interactive communications. What do we mean by interactive? We want to include our students in the process of teaching. They are not there to only listen. They need to play a role in the process of teaching and learning, 
using this kind of multimedia which are text graphics audio video and animation okay now let's talk about the elements of multimedia we have five main categories when we talk about multimedia elements which are text audio video graphic animation and if we ask ourselves why do we actually need multimedia in education we could simply use you know textbooks and that's it but because a photo is worth a thousand words that could help us to uh, achieve our objective easily make it simple to our students at the same time an animation or a video is worth a thousand graphics so if you st use still images only which are the graphics this in some times could not be enough so if you use video if you use animation it will reach the level of interactivity which we are actually keen to uh, reach in education in teaching learning process so it's all about interactivity how to make our students more active how to make our students more engaged we want to see them as uh, you know a second channel of communication it's education always remember that education is not a one-way uh, communication process it's a two-way communication process we want to tell them inform them and what we want to hear their feedback as well so it's a two-way of communication when we successfully implement uh, technology or technology uh, or multimedia in general in our education process we will reach this interactivity level in our process in our education at the same time we could actually uh, separate the five main elements in a multimedia system into two main uh, categories which are the static elements and then the dynamic elements static elements which means still like still images uh, still text we cannot do any movement there is no animation in there we just show them the picture show them the text and that's it this is static elements but uh, this uh, on, the, on the other hand we have the dynamic elements we can show them a video an animation we could let them hear audio recording okay when we for example teach languages so they they need to hear how to pronounce a word the correct pronunciation and so on we could teach them animation about stories and so on so these are <coughs> the two main elements of a multimedia which are statics which contains of uh, text and graphics and then dynamic consists of video audio and animation in one category now let's discuss about these elements one by one first we have the text text is the most basic element of multimedia which we can see everywhere in a website uh, social media in printed media so it's the most basic element and why do we actually use text because we want to express about the information we want to give guidance we want to give uh, we want to highlight some let's say uh, headings or some topics and, and and so on which could be you know uh, a good choice of words could help convey the intended message to the user we could use some logos some icons but we need to combine that with a very good word a choice of words that could help us to actually uh, deliver our message and then text can make the intended message you want to convey through multimedia more understandable 
because if you use symbols or icons or logo only without any words it could be actually mysterious for some people so text could be uh, very helpful in let's say explaining the uh, message behind the design and so on and obviously text used in contents menus and navigational buttons now the second element which is graphic which is very very useful and very common actually uh, in all life aspects we could see images everywhere in education outside of classroom uh, in, in, in you know in malls markets and so on so image catches the viewers attention much more quickly than just words so always remember that graphics or images are very important to catch the attention of the students so always try to combine the perfect uh, let's say choices of images with the good let's say combination of a very good choice of words together graphics including photograph uh, photographs illustrations drawings etc are very very useful when you want to deliver uh, let's say uh, a direct or indirect message and the graphics as well are used in multimedia to show more clearly what a particular information is all about you want to show uh, the students uh, let's say a real life situations you want to show, show them a real life uh, places you could actually easily show them the picture instead of talking about the place or talking about the uh, location you could show them the picture and they could totally understand with one picture that's why we always say one picture worth thousands of words the third uh, element of multimedia which is the animation animation is actually a still images that are you know put together to to give the effect of movement so they are actually a frame by frame images let's say uh, uh, this horse that that is actually moving it contains of maybe five or six still images that they, they are actually put together and then when we hit the play button we can see the movement of the horse all right so this movement rather than just viewing still images instead of showing your student uh, a picture of a horse you could show them this uh, animation which is more you know useful more attractive to the students and so on so in multimedia animation is used to further enhance or enrich the experience of the user to further understand the information about the message that we want to deliver now the fourth uh, element which is audio now always when you hear the word audio you would imagine yourself in uh, an airport when you hear the announcement so it always catch the focus of the visitors so audio could be very useful in let, let's say big places uh, if you want to uh, still use it in, in the classroom you can use audio to for example teach uh, languages for the uh, let's say kindergarten students they could listen how to pronounce words apple a apple b book and so on so audio could come in the form of a speech uh, sound effects and music as well you can play a song for your students so adding sound to a to, to, to your presentation can be a great way to actually get the attention 
of your students, make them involved, more involved, uh, to deliver the information easily, correctly, especially if you are teaching uh, a foreign language, you want to teach them how to pronounce, how to uh, say the correct, you know, pronunciation and so on. And then the final element, which is video. Video is actually a visual multimedia application that combines a sequence of images to form moving pictures and sounds. Exactly like animation, which is consists of, uh, let's say frame by frame, still images, a series of images that create a movement. So video can have an impact on multimedia applications in, in a very unique and powerful way. Uh, video always the best choices that you could actually uh, possibly use in the classroom because it has a very rich uh, information they, they, they can actually see the video and, and then try to do the same afterwards so using video in the classroom has been you know uh, very very useful when you teach let's say uh, practical skills if you want to teach your students a software you could actually record a video how to use this software and then give the video out to your students and then they could actually watch it as many as they need and you know enable for them to get the required skills Now, if we talk about the growth of multimedia, multimedia only gaining attention in recent years because, you know, the previous computers did not reach the level of capability and reasonable price as now. The computers used to be very, very expensive and very big and very heavy uh, to actually use in education. So uh, in, in recent years, when we have more like PCs and laptops, they have started to actually think of computers as a tool that could be used in education. For example, let's see from 1950 to 1970, the computers has a very low power processor, uh, processors. Uh, monochrome screen, which is very, very small, maybe black and white, which is used primarily for the purpose of accounts, calculating, inventing, management, and so on, which could not be very helpful uh, to use in education, all right? Now, at the beginning of 1980s, began the era of hard disk. When we talk about hard disk, we talk about storage. We talk about simple graphical display. Uh, these kind of computers used primarily uh, in the areas of forecasting, statistics, and so on. And it started to uh, the era of Mac, Mac and DOS, you know, started to begin. And then the first game was released, the first game ever, uh, using a, a computer, which called Pac-Man. Uh, and in 1989, the WWW was invented which could be, let's say, the first use that could be helpful for uh, educational purposes. Now, in the 1990, the multimedia BCs is starting to show up, where we could have the ability to, to display digital video, audio, animation, and text, and to share information as well using the WWW. We, uh, whether it's a telecommunications and computer network, all right? And the Microsoft Office softwares was released in 1990. So they started to use text, they started to use uh, images, they started to uh, have, you know, let's say a concept of the multimedia and the use of multimedia uh, in education and other, you know, life, uh, sectors. In 2005, all computers 
have been equipped with multimedia capabilities. They have a very uh, big ROM, very big, you know, hard disks. The ability to display graphics, video, audio, even games with high quality animation and so on. And the internet connections are most stable and faster to use. And they actually, the, 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 the thought of using multimedia in education started to raise back then in 2005. 2010 to 2020, the era that we are living nowadays, we have a lot of multimedia and multimedia usage in, in, in the education process. We have web-based multimedia, mobile multimedia, social media. We have augmented reality, mixed reality. We could actually uh, fly. We could see places all over the world while we are sitting in uh, our computers. All right, so that's it for this class. This is a very simple introduction to multimedia, how uh, or what the main elements of multimedia, uh, the growth of multimedia. I hope it was clear. It was uh, helpful for you and we'll see you in the next class. Thank you very much and goodbye.